What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and today I'm going to show you guys one of the newest releases that we got for IndyCar Diecast, and this one has actually been very popular. It's probably going to be one of the most popular uh, liveries that we got for this year uh, for a very, you know, popular driver that I think could be a threat for the championship this year uh he didn't really had a good run in texas though but you get definitely can't get can't count this guy out we got to talk about uh this indy 500 champion guys alexander rossi and his 2020 auto nation honda delara for andretti autosport wow the hot pink on this die cast looks absolutely stellar and yes guys this die cast along with this napa car are the only two die casts that we're getting so for the first time guys we are getting two alexander rossi die casts and this one's actually not a napa livery for once it is his auto nation scheme and my god this is a very awesome looking die cast i picked up from my good friends at guts uh shout out to them and at the comments below uh, shout out to them and the uh in the video but yeah guts wear definitely a highly recommended place to go and check out i mean their shipping is a little expensive but if you just um you know ask tom and give give him an email or just follow the instructions down below on the uh, the ebay listing uh you can get combined shipping and that's what i did and my god that's just an awesome looking diecast guys the pink on this car is just bright and vibrant and heck <laughs> real men definitely uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, rocking out to pink. I mean, if they make an Alexander Rossi jersey, I rock it out. I mean, I'm not a Rossi fan, but heck, this livery, man, it is beautiful. We rarely see pink die cast uh, besides a Hooters car, but hey, this is right here is really awesome and my good buddies race day 2011 and diecast buffet have did a review on this and now it's my turn so without further ado let's kick off this diecast review and the official unboxing of the alexander rossi 2020 auto nation diecast Alrighty, guys, we got this uh, hot pink diecast out of its box. And before getting started on this diecast review, let's look at the little uh, trading card accessory that we got with all the uh, IndyCar diecasts that we get for, you know, for the since ever ever since green light collectibles have made any card i guess they've always had these um i'm loving the i i said it once i'll say it again i'll say it a thousand times glad they brought back personality with these cards i mean just as simple as you know the driver's name the series logo the driver's appearance and the name and the color of their livery i mean simple and it's awesome and it's a great autograph item too but yeah alexander rossi man this guy huh, what a talent this guy is man i mean this guy is probably going to be a, a, a two-time indy 500 champion or a multiple indy 500 champion and he's probably going to be a threat for the uh championship this year i mean even though what happened at texas technically wasn't his fault it was due to a software glitch with honda but i don't know exactly when he is going to be driving this auto nation livery but when he does man i'm hoping he's going to contend and win in this scheme because it is just beautiful, man. I mean, the paints, the, 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 uh, the, uh, I, I keep saying paint scheme, but whatever though, I'm an NASCAR IndyCar fan, so I'll say it both ways. This livery slash paint scheme, it is the basic tobacco, uh, style Andretti. I mean, that, that's what Race Day 2011 calls it. The, uh, this is basically the tobacco Andretti sponsor car um that's how they set up all their liveries and that's basically what it is guys i mean all the dreaded die casts that we got for this year for dreaded sport i mean it's just like um how team penske is with their die cast with, with the nascars or indy cars their paint schemes are very similar and this one is you know setup wise it is similar but gray and pink we really see that guys i mean i think the last time we ever had a pink 164 was probably pippa man's die cast from 2018 which that car failed to qualify <laughs> um but yeah, this is really cool, man. Uh, we did have Jack Harvey's 118 that came out last year. Um, Would have loved to see a 164 version of this car, but this is a great first impression, guys. And with a lot of people, a lot of people have already uh, said that this is one of the best looking diecasts so far for this year. And I will say that. So if we, if, 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 it seems like this is a, this is this car's been selling like hotcakes, guys. So that's good for Greenlight. So Greenlight. Get the ball rolling and make the Jack Harvey a Sirius XM diecast because he's running full time. If not, make it as a late release like he did last year with the 118 because people love pink diecast. Pink is so freaking in. I don't care what gen you are. It is in. And I love it, man. Absolutely love it. I mean, pink and gray. Who would have known those two things would go great in common? Even the Andretti chrome nose looks great with this, even though you can barely see it. But 
Yeah, don't worry though. If you guys don't like this paint scheme slash livery, uh, don't worry. That auto parts car is on its way to ship. Uh, don't know exactly when, but you have to ask Race Day Toy Lab for that because he's basically the diecast news guy when it comes to IndyCar diecast, and I am with NASCAR. But the aero screen on this, as you see, we got ourselves the pink outline, and it looks amazing, man. The hot pink is just sexy. I will say that, man. The only time we usually get pink die cast, whether it's IndyCar or NASCAR, usually we get them during October, during Breast Cancer Month. But, heck, great time that this die cast got released. And if you guys can afford the 118 scale version of this car, get it. Because I think both these die cast, both scales of this die cast is going to sell out. I mean, if I this would be easily on the top five best-selling IndyCar die cast for 2020. Right up there with, you know, Connor Daly's and, you know, Paddle Awards and Colt Hurtas. This is one that I think you should get immediately because people are going to notice this car and they're going to see it at Indy for the Indy 500. Uh, I don't know if Easy would drive this car at the Indy 500. That would be pretty, would be pretty cool, but, you know, he won a Napa car at the 2016 100th running. So, but I don't know. We'll probably see him run this livery very soon. I mean, it doesn't really make sense if they're going to make this die cast and he's not going to run it. So, <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, I wish uh, I don't have a car to compare this to. I was going to do the side-by-side -side comparison of the Napa livery, but, I mean, not really much of a good comparison, considering, you know, we've never had an Auto Nation 164 released. I mean, we had a promo one time um, with Ryan Hunter Ray in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. That was his uh, Racing for Cancer car, and Auto Nation's partnered with that. So, I mean, that was the only time we ever got, like, a 164, but that was more of a promo. This is a standard release, guys, so you can get this at any of your diecast dealers that sell current IndyCar diecast. Uh, highly, highly recommend, man, because, you know, the pink is just bright and vibrant. I mean, it looks a little dull on camera, but it is hot and magenta and just, it's a hot magenta pink, and I love it. And I'm hoping that green light could probably make this for the next few years, Um but it's just beautiful, man. I, I can't stress it enough. I mean, I can't really say too much more about the livery, but it, it's just awesome, man. I mean, I, I highly recommend getting this diecast. <laughs> highly. Especially for all the Rossi fans out there. Shout out to you guys. Uh, I know there's a uh, he has a pretty big fan base now. Um, yeah, th th that guy, man, he is like, you know, the rising star. I mean, he is practically now a star in the IndyCar series. I mean, seeing how far he came in these last few years is super impressive and expect this guy to have another successful year with the dreddy osport but anyways, guys this has been obb the diecast news guy thanks so much for watching the diecast view of the alexander rossi 2020 auto nation honda delara for and dreddy osport if you guys enjoyed this diecast review along with other nascar diecast reviews or indycar diecast reviews click that subscribe button today so you guys stay up to, up to date on all that and many more i might even do some sports car or hot wheels diecast reviews if you guys are up for it i mean heck i always love to branch out to other types of motorsports besides indycar and nascar but anyways, guys this has been obb catch you guys next time on another other diecast review whether it's indycar nascar or hell even hot wheels i'll be ready to film another one very soon